change up. Got her looking, one down. Squalachi stays at first. Well, now Squalachi will take second. After that one got away from Riley Valentine behind the plate, and suddenly it's an RBI chance. And what you hope when you get a freshman in is that they're going to come in fearless and excited, and that's what these two freshmen are doing. It's back to Brisky. Two down, but Squalachi. Well, the Bulldogs have made Brisky work. You see that graphic, seven pitch of the at-bat, 21 pitches already in this inning. Swing and a miss. Brisky works it. Payoff from Partain. Johnson bloops that, and running in to make the catch is Cothran for out number one. Awesome catch by Michaela Cothran in center field. Swing and a miss. Partain gets the strikeout. Two gone. There's the... There's ball four. Dukeshire draws the walk. And Alabama has a base runner with two outs here in the first. It's a few games. 357 average in the last five. 375 average in the Georgia series. And she rips that right to first, but Campbell makes the catch to retire the side. How they just keep building every year, getting better and better. And we're seeing that across the league in total. There's champion, but Kahalen swallows it up and makes a good throw for out number one. Popped up. Hevlin's there, two away. And I think with Samford, it's just a different story. Open. The tournament's always a blast. And you'll see basically everybody kind of beat each other up. And that usually leads to a lot of fun. Hargis does lead the team, or is tied for the lead with six stolen bases this year. And Brisky gets her looking. Dowling to short, and the throw is not in time from Hargis. Dowling beats it out, and Bama has another payoff. And it's ball four. So two on, nobody out for the Crimson Tide here in the second. Shows bunt, pops it up. And Partain made the catch, was ready to throw for second, but no one was there, and there's one down. Riley Valentine is kind of yet to come alive on the offensive side. That one gets away from champion. No possibility for a throw, and suddenly two are in scoring position for all that. Another full count, this time to Valentine. And it's off of Bruce at third. That'll score a run, and Alabama's on the board here in the second. Play, and when you hit it hard, Riley Valentine gets around this ball, and it just eats up Bruce at third base. McKay Gidley going to score with no problem, and Alabama still got... Clark at third, Valentine at second. Pruitt waits on it, and a out recorded at first, but Clark will come in to score, and it's 2-0 Alabama. Nice job. Out to right, that's down for a base hit. Valentine will score, and Jenna Johnson makes it 3-0 Alabama here in the second. Hevlin to short, and Hargis will fire it to Squalachi, who steps on the bag to win the inning. He's in the top 35, Ole Miss has made a move. We'll talk about the Rebels and what they did this past weekend a little later as Brisky paints the inner half to strike out the nine hitter, Addison Smith. And that's foul tipped into the glove. Another strikeout. Got her. Brisky strikes out the side. And she's got six. The quality that it is now. And she's seeing results from that hard work. Not getting a chance to go after much 
in that plate appearance. She's now walked. The mindset as a hitter, but with a spinny pitcher like this, a little bit of a lower velocity, you're trying to track the ball as deep as possible and making your decision as late as. And Bond opens with Bailey Dowling. Two on, nobody out, and Dowling lifts that out to center. Dukeshire will head for home, and Kahalen had to retreat back to second after the RBI single from Bailey Dowling to make it 4 nothing. Saw Kristen White come in to run for Dowling over at first, and that got all the way back off the pitch clock against Kendall Clark. Kendall Clark out to center. Kahalen will score. Kristen White will race for home, and she's out. Clark slides in safely at second, and it's 5-0 Alabama, but an out is recorded after that great relay in from Cothran in center field. Good things happen on both sides of the ball in this play. Kendall Clark hits the ball really hard out to center field. Michaela Cothran with the throw right on the money to get the speedy Kristen White at Alabama home. Alabama is cha challenging the out call at home plate. And we're going to see a review of the out. The call is out. Back to the circle. Bond will throw to third. And Clark is safe. Valentine smacks that to center. Cothram will make the catch, but Clark tags up and she'll score to make it 6 0 Alabama. Pruitt hits that well to right. Yantis retreats and makes the catch just shy of the fence. Two in the inning, but Alabama puts up three and it's 6 0, heading to the fourth in Tuscaloosa. He starts over there as well. Yeah, the transfer from North Alabama played a lot of third for the Lions. And that's a leadoff walk to Shaw to set the table for the big bopper, a remarkable tear. She crushes that. That's got some carry. Grill can't make the catch and it's a homer. Katie Campbell does it again. And Samford finds an answer here in the fourth. Katie Campbell just continues her tear hands, but Katie Campbell was ready for it. She attacks it. Perfect angle to hit that out of the yard. And she is just seeing the ball so well right now. Back to the circle from Champion and Brisky makes the throw for out number one. To your point though, it is a second. Bruce sends that to center field, but running over is Pruitt, two down. Pruitt got a good. Another payoff to Hargis. Missed high, two out walk. O2. Swing and a miss. Another strikeout for Brisky. That's number seven. Again, Sarah Bond back out in the circle. And Tanya Cash will say that Cat Grill was out of the box. And with two strikes, that means she's out. And I was so impressed with Ansley Furbush. LSU just could not get on time with her, figure her out. Dukeshire rips that all the way to the wall. Hevlin is flying and she will stop at third. And Abby Dukeshire puts two in scoring position here. 
sent skyward by Kahalen, and that's a fair ball. A miscommunication, and Hevlin scores. It's 7-2 Alabama. She waits on it. Cothran will track. And Giles will come in to score. Kahalen had to leap to get out of the way of the throw. Cothran knew she had no chance to get Giles at the plate. Emma Broadfoot hits it far enough out there, and Cothran has to move enough. She's going to try to throw it to third, but ultimately ends up hitting. Clark hammers that to center. Cothran gives chase. It's all the way to the wall. Kahalen scores, and Kendall Clark has another RBI tonight. It's 9-2 Crimson Tide. Much power. She's right on time with it. I thought this ball was going to leave the yard, but it's a double off the wall, and Kendall Clark is having herself a night as well as all of Alabama's offense. And that gets away. Clark will head for third. And she'll draw the walk. Didn't have to take the bat off the shoulder. Runners on the corners for Alabama now. Of the year available. McKenzie. And there's ball four, bases loaded. Yeah, McKenzie Newcomb was there. Here in the fourth. Pruitt lifts that to right and running in off the glove of Yantis. Two runs will score. And Alabama leads 11 to two as Pruitt comes through with the bases loaded. Larissa Pruitt had a really good hit ball to deep right field last time she was up. This one, she's a little bit off balance but the right fielder Yantis can't catch this ball on the dive. And it is a two RBI double for Larissa Pruitt. Two, two. Pate is struck out and Fuller gets out of the inning. Quilacci and Cothran waiting. On the ground a second, there's Hevelin. One down. And there's a strikeout for Salter. Got her. Alex Salter slams the door with a changeup. And Alabama run rules Sanford here on a Tuesday night in Tuscaloosa. 23 and five with this K from Alex Salter. Alex Salter completely fools Cothran at the plate with that changeup. The pitch she's known for gets the looking K to end this ballgame. 